meditate focusing on the breath, you're creating a good energy in the body and a good energy in the mind. You look at the flow of the breath energy in the body and notice where it's harmonious and where it's not harmonious. And where it's not harmonious, you're trying to bring it into alignment. So when you breathe in, the whole body is nourished and not, no parts of the body are cut off or acting at cross purposes. When the body's full of good energy like this, it's easy for the mind to settle down. When the mind can settle down, it creates its own good energy, too. And you're not the only one who benefits from this. People around you can pick it up. Even people who passed away, if you dedicate your merit to them and they're in a position where they can accept it, they get some of that energy, too. So think of this as a gift. It's a gift you give you to yourself and to the world around you. And even to those who passed away. Someone was asking the other day if this was a form of prayer, dedicating merit, may they have a share in my merit. And it's more like, it's not really a prayer. The Buddha didn't have much use for prayer. He said if wealth, beauty, happiness, contentment could be, brought, could be found through prayer, then everybody in the world would be wealthy and beautiful and happy. But when you dedicate merit, it's like offering a gift. So here's something really good. If you're if you in your position to accept it, please take it. That way you benefit and the other person benefits too. This is one of the nice things about the Buddhist teachings. He teaches the forms of happiness where instead of creating divisions like the happiness of the world, it actually overrides those boundaries, overrides those divisions. If your happiness is based on gain and status, okay, that creates divisions. But if it's based on generosity, virtue, meditation, that helps to erase those boundaries. So this is something that's good to do all around. And on days when you feel, well, I've meditated enough for myself, and remind yourself, well, put in a little extra time for the other people, too. It's a good way to motivate yourself to ramp up your practice.